It's 3.30 in the afternoon at Fair Furlong School in Bristol and Year 3 and 4 teacher Vicky Cleves is running an after-school animation club for a small group of children. Today the pupils are making 2D animations and begin by producing their storyboards. In front of the snowy mountains the penguin race was about to start. Penguins go underwater and have a wet soppy kiss. Floating back up kissing in a love heart, cry goes off. That's a really nice finish. Well done. The trick with animation is to keep it as simple as possible, especially when you're just starting out, which with children, you know, they want to put a bouncing ball in, then they want to have a hockey game, and, you know, they want to do too many things at once. Right, we need to sort out your pelican, don't we? Cliff, what can we do for Cliff? Do you want a real Cliff? If I can figure out some way of making that show up on the camera, would you like that? No. The important thing for me about animation is the range of ability of children who can access it, irrespective of their level of reading or writing or anything else. They can express their thoughts and ideas in a visual format that everybody can respond to. Once the characters and backgrounds have been made, it's time to start animating. Vicky has organised a filming set with a camera and a tripod, which is connected to a laptop by a firewire lead. The stage is set with a light box, which is optional, and two angle poised lamps to provide light from above. That looks alright now. The laptop is equipped with an animation software package. There are several on the market that start at about £30. Because it's very technical and hands-on, it's very difficult to work with a larger group than, say, 15, 16 children, again with two adults. Once you get more technical, and crafty and building your animation, your sets and things like that, it's much easier to work with a smaller group. Vicky has not got this far alone. She belongs to a creative partnership scheme, taking animation to different schools in the area. The teachers get time out every three to four weeks to learn new techniques and share ideas. This is work with five-year-olds. Their topic is water, so we put together a little film yesterday afternoon using background they painted, painted fish, fish made from fabrics, and they did this in about 13 minutes yesterday. Back to the animations, the children are ready to start taking their photographs. They move their characters a small amount each time. When all these still pictures are played back, it appears as if the characters are moving. You shouldn't move it too much, otherwise the animation won't look very good. You've got to move it just a little bit. That's it. Now, actually, tip his head down now, so he looks like he's beginning to dive down. It's fantastic to actually see what wonderful imaginations the children have got. The whole idea of children can produce an animation, something they see on TV every single day, they can do that. It's just fantastic.